That song is the Missouri Waltz. It was the theme song of perhaps the most famous piano player in American politics, Harry S. Truman. He was a Missourian, and for 10 years before he became president, Harry Truman was United States Senator from the Show Me State of Missouri. This year, his old Senate seat is the subject of controversy that not only is being talked about nationwide, but worldwide. In just the last two weeks, two of my friends who are correspondents from France told me that they are going to St. Louis to cover what many call the Senate race of the year. Democratic Senator Claire McCaskill, who won a very narrow victory in the Democratic year of 06, seemed headed for political extinction in 2012. Three Republicans went down to the wire for nomination to oppose her. The winner of a heated primary, Congressman Todd Aiken, had a good conservative record, and after he won the primary, everyone seemed to unite behind him. Polls gave him a comfortable lead over the incumbent, and by all accounts, McCaskill was going down, and Truman's old seat was going to be in Republican hands. Not so. The nominee appeared in an interview and used a controversial phrase, legitimate rape, that aroused criticism from within his own party as well as in much of the national press. There were calls for him from Republicans from Mitt Romney on down. Get off the ticket, Todd Aiken. He refused. And now he'll be on the ballot in two weeks. The Republican National Committee and the National Republican Senatorial Committee abandoned their nominee, who admittedly said a few other things that were impolite. Democrats have rallied money to defeat him. There's only one issue in the campaign, it's Todd Aiken. Now some people, particularly his fellow cultural conservatives, have rallied to Todd Aiken's side. In addition, Governor Mike Huckabee, former Senator Rick Santorum, Phyllis Schlafly of the Eagle Forum, and former House Speaker Newt Gingrich have all gone into the seat to campaign for the embattled challenger. Newt Gingrich may have said it best. Do you want six years of a good senator or do you want six years of bad vote because of six seconds of stupidity? The National Party still doesn't agree. By all accounts, they're not going to get involved in the race on Aiken's behalf. They may yet, but with two weeks to go, the clock is ticking. Incredibly, polls show this a close race. And that's why people from around the world are coming to Missouri to watch what many say will be the race. Tomorrow.